What's going on everyone? It's your boy back at it again for the second time for the Pittsburgh Penguins. As you can see in episode one, we simmed all the way up to the season stopping date. So we're gonna start from here. We're gonna finish out the regular season. We're gonna sim through as much as the playoffs we can, depending on how much time we have. Hopefully we can end up holding a nice big silver trophy at the end of this, around 40 pounds. Huh. Yeah, right now we are second in the league, I believe, and this team is in a 100% win now mode. So every every playoff game matters as we are greeted with a steaming hot injury immediately to a big player. That hurts. <laughs> oh no, Marlo's not happy. Oh, no, 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 that's just not good. Well, I guess that means Marlo goes in the lineup. In you go, Marlo. Let's see what you can do on that wing. Hopefully Gentle can feed you the puck a lot. Yeah, I would also like to mention, uh, Gino is tearing up the season. I would not be surprised if he wins the Rocket at this point. For the total... For the league's leading goal scorer. 50 already in 70 games. That is absurd. But hey. If it works, it works. As back-to-back -back games where we score at least 5. And then nice 3 to win against the Islanders. So yeah, it seems like against Carolina. We love scoring on. Yeah, we might be seeing Carolina if we go on a deep run, which I don't like that because if you know anything about the Hurricanes, the Hurricanes are such a weird... You look at their playoff history. Please, I highly recommend to look at the Hurricanes' playoff histories. They are a team. They rarely make the postseason. But when they do, oh my god, they make it count in every sense. Like, they are incredible. Like... They had a 10-year drought, if I'm correct, in between playoff stints from 2009 to 2019. In 2019, you know, they just went to the third round. They make the third round at minimum every time they make the playoffs. It is, like I said, absurd. Gensel with almost an, almost an assist per game. Looks like we're going to finish the regular season. Are we leading the league in, score, in like uh, points? Don't tell me we won the President's Trophy. We won the President's Trophy. Cool, so that curse is on us. We have no excuse now. We have absolutely no excuse, and who we play in the first round? It looks like we will be seeing Washington in the first round, which I don't know how to feel about. Carolina and the Islanders get to meet up again. Let's look at the... We'll look at team stats first. Look at the team stats. So, yeah. 57 wins. That might be the best season ever in Pittsburgh history. And, oh my god, our power play is godly. Goals per game, 3.9. Yeah, that is absurd. That is absurd. Goals against per game, ain't too shabby. Two fourth best in the league. We are playing amazing in our end and our defensive end. In our end, it uh, da, 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 in our end and our opponent's end. All right, good job, Frank. You're, you're filled with so much stupid tonight, aren't you? Power play is an absurdly god mode. Thirty percent. That is ridiculous. And we're facing the next best power play. How can our penalty kill hold up? Uh, yeah, we're about mid-table with 83%. Yeah, there we are. About mid-table, which, I mean, I'm not going to complain about. Yeah, we love playing at home. We love playing at home. And nine wins. Tend off our last ten going into the playoffs. Anything but a cup for this team right now is a failure. Anything. And that means going through Tampa, too. 
we're going to have a bit of a rough go with it. All right, let's look at the team. Gino with 61 goals. Absolutely incredible. He definitely has to win the Rocket with 61. Crosby picking up 102 points. Only two points behind Gino. If it wasn't for that slow slow start, he could have been leading the team. Gensel with almost an assist per game. Playing out of his mind. Setting, making himself a nice setup, man. Latang with 70 points. 24 goals for a defenseman. Hat. I wonder if that's his best ever year. I wonder. Patrick Hornquist, six, yeah, 65 points. Very happy. Connor Sherry with 51. I wish those 14 goals were a bit higher, but I am not complaining at all. He, him, and Gino have paired really well together. Jason Zucker back up to 50 points. I'd like to see that. Schultz, 50 points. Just makes it even harder to keep him, but hopefully he can get rolling. Hopefully he can get that six goals up. I expect a bit more out of you there, buddy. Brian was 20 goal campaign, 46 points. Can't complain about that. Bukestad, 42 points. Nice. McCann, 37. Bluger, Ashton Reese, nailing down with Tanev. Uh, Tanev, that minus one. That's a bit, a bit concerning, especially with how good we are. And Marino and Pedersen rounding out with Johnson and Marlowe with 15 points in 13 games. And he's a healthy scratch. Oh my god, this is absurd. Plus minus King, that goes to Latang and Crosby with 41. And what? Yeah, Tanev's the only minus, which... If I'm correct, he's on the penalty kill, which... That can make some sense. Not like our penalty kill was amazing. Mid-table, but... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain the slightest. All right. Let's look at the rest of the league. Actually, wait. What am I talking about? Goalies. How are we doing that? Yeah, guys. I think Matt Murray might be the starter next season. Yeah, 920. For people who don't know hockey, that's really darn good. That is really good. Jari's 894, however. That is not. So, sadly, I think we might see good old Tristan go out of town. I do love you, though, Tristan. All right. Let's go view the rest of the league. How did the rest of the league match up to us? Patty Kane will win the Art Ross for most points in the league. But... Gino will be taking home the Rocket with a leading by 10 goals. Absolutely absurd season. He had 20% shooting percentage. That is godly. Absolutely absurd. All right. Who's our assist king? Understandable. Jake Gensel. Latero Teravainen. Very close. I mean, they're tied. I guess the only reason Gensel gets it is with the goals. But, man, less games. All right, who's our plus minus king? Victor Hedman is the workhorse for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, yeah, the Tang and Crosby are up there now. Who will be wearing this year's green jacket? Oh, two players. Victor Matei and Arturi Lekkonen. Golf clap time. Good job on your Masters win, boys. All right. Who decided to sit in the box the most this season? Michael Haley. I shouldn't be surprised. Jeez, Taylor Hall. What what got into you this season, buddy? You're up here with Lemieux and Kachuk. Hey, Mute, what are you doing up here? I guess you're just in... You're probably in the phase where you're just a grouchy old man now, like Jumbo Joe Thornton is right now, which is lovely. I love seeing it. Who takes the most shots? No shocker. It's the oven chicken himself. Who had... <laughs> You know, it's weird when someone gets 44 goals and you say they had a bad season. That just tells you the sheer amount of talent Ovechkin has. All right. Who comes in clutch for their team the most? That would be good old Patty Kane, but Crosby right behind. All right. Who's the god on the power play? So that's where he's getting all the goals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our power play is good. <laughs> Our power play is good. Who leads in shorthanded goals? Nola Chari. 
seems to come in clutch when the team's down a man. And I guess him and Barkov must be playing together. All right, who's the workhorse defenseman? Of course, it's Shea Weber. They're running into the ground in Montreal. But Latang is only two seconds right behind him because he is our only defenseman, really. Except sometimes Schultz when he's not playing god-awful. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, Latang is two minutes behind Weber, which... Tang has been an absolute beast this season. All right, who's won the most face-off? That goes to Ryan O'Reilly. Probably going to win the best defensive player this season. I think that's how the the game determines the award, but I don't know. I need to figure that one out. Brad Marchand throws the most hits, which he's injured right now, which I, you love to see it. Boone Jenner close behind. Block shots. Who's the brick wall? That would be Will Butcher himself. Well, players like Ben Hutton and Seth Jones close behind. There's Latang. But Tang had a monster season. Giveaways, who turns over the puck the most? I'd go to Ben Sherratt. Yeah, that's not surprising. Oh, God, Toby Reader. Ooh. For a lot of you, you may not know, but when you see a forward giving away the puck a lot, that means he's playing god-awful. Yeah. Who's taking away the puck the most? Kopitar, which makes sense because he dragged the Kings to relevance this season, it seems like. But Zuccarello, Katuri, Ryan, your typical faces you're going to see there. Fights, the fight king, of course, Michael Haley and Mark Warwicky. Of course, these two. How many times did these guys probably punch each other? What, they played each other three times? God, they had to at least have multiple fights. I like to imagine. That's, my, that's what I want to believe. All right. Who's our Norris winner? That would be Chris Letang. It's finally going to get his first Norris in his career. I mean, the guy had a monster season. 24 goals for a defenseman. 70 points. Plus minus a 41. Absolutely B season. Letang deserves it. Goalies. Vasilevsky has won the most games. But let's get this up to 40. Who is our Vesna winner? That looks like it's going to go to Vasilevsky. But Murray? Murray makes a point. But it's going to go to Vasi. Well-deserved, too. Well-deserved, Vasi. Oh, rookie watch. Who is winning the Calder this season? That goes to good old Capu Caco. I know someone who would love to see that. Yeah, Capu Caco with a nice 63. 31 goals. Very impressive. Phillips Adina and then Kirby. Doc, oh, Jackie, ooh, oh, 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 yeah, that just proves New Jersey's a few years back with that rebuild. Sam Steele with an absolutely incredible season. Good job, oh, Dominic, Dominic, Dominic Kubelik, Blake Lazard, Blake Lazard played really well. Oh, Terrell Hirose, Quinn Hughes, you, you love to see it. And goalies, let me, all the rookie goalies this season. Not a lot, but Mackenzie Blackwood, he was thrusted into that starter job against his will, most likely, but that's what happens when your goaltending tandem is not good, is you throw a kid to the Wolves. But we're going to have some hard work coming our way in the offseason, but I don't care about that hard work. I care about the 40-pound cylinder cup thing. And we'll be playing Washington. Let's go view. What is this Washington team looking looking like right now? What is this? Stanley Cup champion from a couple years ago look like. Ah. The white Russian line. Of course. Alex Ovechkin. With Evgeny Kuznetsov. And Ilya Kovalchuk is here. Jacob Verana. Nicholas Backstrom. And Richard Ponick. Tom Wilson, Lars Eller, TJ Oshie, Brendan Leipzig, uh, Travis Boyd, and Carl Haglin. That one still hurts again a little bit. Love you, Hags. And on defense, we got Dmitry Orlov, John Carlson, Brendan Dillon, Michael Kempney, Nick Jensen, and Radko Gudis to round out their top six. And in net, of course, Braden Holpe with backup Ilya Samsonov. And healthy scratches is Daniel Sprong. That's awkward. Nick Dowd and Garnet Hathaway. 
So this is going to be a tough series. Easily. This is going to be a tough one, no doubt. It's always a good one between the Caps and the Penguins. Oh. All right. Game one. Game one. Stanley Cup playoffs. First period sim. I don't like that one bit. Carl Haglund's going to score a goal with three minutes, 30 seconds left in the period. Jacob Frana, less than a minute later, is going to make that a 2 to nothing lead as Washington dominates the first period. Second period, Haglund again at the 15-minute mark scores from behind the net. Behind the net, we have 12 shots. You can show up any day now, guys. Any day now. Richard Ponick and Ilya Kovalchuk make it 5 nothing, but Jared McCann breaks up the shutout. Not like it matters at this point. Travis Boyd. Richard Ponick. Oh my god. You can show up any day now, fellas. A 7-1 to one drumming. To start off the postseason in the best season in Penguins history, probably. Yep, there's our Norris winner. Minus five. I can't put this on them, though. This was an utter collapse. Matt Murray with an 800 save percentage. That is what gets you eliminated in three. Not even four. You just forfeit game three or game four because you're just like, we're going to lose anyway. Let's save the injuries at least. Okay. That was a disaster. Oh, yeah. Playoff series. Looks like, yeah, Tampa. Buffalo finally squeaked in. Took them a while. Boston and Toronto, and Boston is leading. Toronto fans aren't feeling happy. And the rematch of the Carolina Hurricanes and the Islanders. Over in the West, we got Vancouver and Edmonton, which, oh, that's it's not the Battle of Alberta. That's damn near close to it. Kings and Knights, Golden Knights, with a rematch from uh, 2017. And it looks like it's going the same way again. Got the Avalanche and the Coyotes going at each other, and the Blackhawks and the Jets. Okay. Uh. I believe in this team, that game was just a blip. Game two, back in Pittsburgh. Can we even the series? We've already lost home ice. First period, Jacob Verona starts off the scoring again right in front of the net, but Jared McCann is the only Penguins player that has shown up this entire playthrough. Okay, so we got a 1-1. Shots are around even, 11-10. Second period, finally... Other players show up. Sidney Crosby gives us the 2-1 lead. Then, John Marino gets his first ever postseason goal, making it 3-1. But Oven Chicken gets a power play goal to cut the lead by one. Capitals are dominating on the shot clock, 26-17. All right, power play opportunity, Jared McCann. Oh, my God, McCann, you are coming in clutch. All right, keep on the pressure, boys. Do not foot on the throat. Do not back off in the slightest. Go for the kill. Two minutes left. One minute power play opportunity. And Zucker puts in the empty netter. And, ladies and gentlemen, the series is even. So we will not get swept like the Tampa Bay Lightning did. But oh, down the minors, there's a trade-off made. But I don't think Wilfred Scranton is even in the playoffs, so. Ricola goes down. P.O. Joseph goes in. He's up to his 68. That's. What? So it looks like we traded a soul for a soul. For that victory. We lost Patrick Hornquist. Back in goes Marlowe, and I have. 100% faith they can put something together. So he's only down for a couple days. Okay. Only a few days. That's good to see. That's good to see. 
uh, looks like the series between Buffalo and Tampa is even. Chicago and Winnipeg, Vancouver and Edmonton. Vegas has won six straight games against the Kings in the postseason. The Coyotes are upsetting the Avalanche right now. Two games. Boston and Carolina are just rubbing it in to their respective teams. And Jared McCann is playing the hero right now. Even though one of his goals was kind of a garbage goal, but you know what? Carry us, McCann. Jack Johnson decides to lead off scoring in the first period, and if that doesn't make you uncomfortable, I don't know what will. Capitals leading the shot clock 16 to 7. Second period. Big period for the Penguins. TJ Oshi ties up with a power play goal, but Sherry and then Gensel strike within five minutes of each other to make it three to one. Tom Wilson is going to cut the lead by one, but Sherry and then Crosby are going to cut it in three. Yeah. In three minute intervals. All right. Third period. Capitals still dominating the shot clock as Dmitry Orlov is going to cut it by two. Power play opportunity for the Capitals. Can we kill it? Yes, we can. But Michael Kempty is going to cut that lead to one. All right, guys, come on. Come on. You got to stop the bleeding. Power play opportunity fails for the Capitals. Stop the bleeding. Shut it down right now. Hold the crease, Murray. Hold the crease. Keep on the pressure. Come on, and we take game three. We have one back home ice advantage. We'll be heading back. Well, actually, still in Washington, but game five, we'll be heading back to Pittsburgh. Connor Sherry leading the team with four points. This is strange. This is very strange. Hornquist is back. How did Marlow play in his short stint? He's been nothing but excellent, which makes it hurt when I have to scratch him because... I gotta throw in Hornquist. All right, Cro Ooh, Crosby, come on. You gotta stop taking penalties, buddy. Gotta stop taking those useless penalties. Tang er, Johnson's having his struggles. Tang's bouncing back out of it. Okay. How you doing, Murray? You're, you're struggling. Uh, if we take out that first game, Murray might be doing pretty, pretty fine. Game four. Can we get up by two games? I do not want to force a game six here. I want to get done with this team immediately. And Brandon Tanev agrees with a nice shorthanded goal with 10 seconds left in the first period. Oh, I, you just hate to see it. That hurts. Second period, Gino with another power play goal. The dude is a beast on the power play. We lead the shot clock by 10, 25 to uh, 15 power play opportunity and we capitalize it Gino again we are up 3-0 right as I say that Jacob Vrana cuts the okay Jacob Vrana in like 35 seconds cuts a 3 goal deficit to a 1 stop the bleeding guys and Jason Zucker agrees gets that goal back with a, a little less than eight sec 8 minutes left can we shut this down shut this down boys nice kill important power play to kill off Gensel with the empty netter can we close this out in Pittsburgh? Can we go back to Pittsburgh and close this out? God, I hope so. As we pay the price again for it, Brandon Tanev goes down. Okay, in goes Simone. In goes Simone. All right. Who? Game five. So not a single series is finished. Buffalo might really upset Tampa right now. Tampa does not like the postseason. Toronto evened it up. Carolina has foot on the throat in the Islanders. They have all the control. Evened up between Colorado and Arizona evened it up. As well as Edmonton and Vancouver. LA finally beat Vegas in a playoff game. And Winnipeg is... Facing elimination as well. Game five. Big game. Big rival. Back in the bird. Can we close this out? And get a nice little rest before the second round. That's not what I like to see. TJ o oh, TJ Oshi with the power play goal. And then 50 seconds later, Radko Gudis makes it a 2-0 game. 
We lead in the shot clock, 13 to 8. But we bring it back. Jake Gensel and Patrick Hornquist, 31 seconds apart. They take a two-goal deficit. Tie this game up. We are still leading the shot clock, 22 to 15. So, yeah, it looks like you got to score within like a minute. As Sidney Crosby scores within 35 seconds. Garnet Hathaway is going to tie it up. Power play opportunity for the Capitals. We kill it off. That is a big, important kill. Another power play. Haglund scores on the power play. Come on, can, can we? Come on, guys. Kill it off. Come on. Can we even this up? Uh, uh. And Washington will take game five. And we'll be going back to Washington for game six. We need to cut it with these penalties. I swear, we really it's its really hurting us bad. Buffalo finishes off Tampa. Vegas finishes off uh, LA. Carolina and finishes off the Islanders. Boston, Vancouver, Colorado, Chicago, and ourselves are looking to do the same tonight. Probably not all at once, but you, you know what I mean. We need to win this game. Even though we do have a Game 7 left, I don't know how much confidence I have that we can stop the bleeding, If we, especially if we lose a bad one tonight. Alright. Game 6 has another iffy start. Nick Jensen's going to start off the score. And Rust will get it back, but then Lars Eller will bring back the lead. 12-11 shot clock to Capitals. Malkin will tie it up. Tom Wilson will bring back the lead. And then within around 30 seconds, Jake Gensel will tie up this game. We lean shots 20 to 19. This is a close ball game, fellas. This is a close back and forth game. Power play two for the Capitals. And they capitalize. Travis Boyd. Can we tie this up? We really need to tie this up. Come on. We need a big save from you, Murray. We need... We need where's... Crosby, come on. We need a big goal right now in the waning minutes. And Tom Wilson. <sighs> Colorado and Vancouver advance on to the next round. <sighs> Winnipeg lives to fight another day. Actually, I don't know if they played theirs yet. Game 7. Winnipeg will also be in a Game 7. So will Boston and Toronto. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Crosby, we need you to... You're doing great, but we need you to just... Put the team on your back right now. Sherry, you're doing good. Malkin at minus four is not appealing. Rust, Zucker, oh, Duke's dad. Oh, that's not looking good. McCann's gone cold since game two. Simone's been fine. Johnson has been. Oh, God, Johnson. All right. I gotta stop the bleeding somehow. Matt Murray, we need you to play well this one. We're putting up that scoring for you, but we need you to. We need that big save from you, buddy. Tanev. I'm not gonna throw you in. I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll leave in Simone. Because yeah, the last thing I need. Is being stuck with only 11 forwards during a night with Tanev getting re injured. Game seven. Big game. Big game. Winner moves on, loser goes home. First period, and we start off strong. Marcus Pedersen uses his ice time to get himself a goal. Jason Zucker on the power play. McCann shows right back up. We are leading 3 to nothing, 13 to 5 on the shots. Second period, we hold tight. All right, just hold the line, fellas. 
We are heavily dominating on the shot clock. Hold the line. Power play opportunity for Washington as we kill it off. I'd like to see that. All right, just bleed out the clock. Just run out the clock, guys. Uh, five on three and dog. And we kill crucial penalties. And the Pittsburgh Penguins will avoid a first-round upset. We'll be going on to second round to meet Carolina. Matt Murray, big game. The defense, big game. We like to see that. All right. We'll be playing Carolina. Who else will be advancing? Brandon Tanev is back. In he goes for Simone. Also, if we do get to the point where we're going to win the cup, I'm scratching someone to throw in Patrick Marlowe. He, like, he deserves to lift that cup. We play Carolina as Winnipeg beat Chicago, comes back from a 3-1 deficit. Same with Toronto. Toronto finally upsets their demons in the Bruins and goes get and goes to play at the Buffalo Sabres in the next round. Vancouver, Vegas, the V's will fight this out. As the old, well, actually, no, the old Nordiques, not the old Jets. That'd be the Coyotes. Ah, if only the Coyotes won, that'd be a fun series. But Avalanche Jets, that's definitely another fun series. All right. So what is this Carolina team? What does this team look like? What is this team we're up against here? The Carolina Hurricanes, the passing god himself, Taro Taro Biden, who's scoring some goals. Playing with Sebastian Ajo and Andre Svechnikov. Shout out to you, Zach, your boy. That's an amazing first line. Nice young first line. Second line, Ryan Dezingle, Vinny Trocek, and Nito Niederreiter. Nito Niederreiter's been a bit slow, but the other two have been solid. Third line, Brock McGinn, Jordan Stahl, and Justin Williams. Mr. Game 7 is playing God mode. He wants one mark up. War, finish out the fourth line. We got Warren Fogel, Martin Akosh, and Jordan Martinuk. On defense, we know how deep this Carolina defense is. Sammy Vaughn and, and Dougie Hamilton as that first pairing is absurd. Jacob Slavin, Jake Gardner, Brady Shea, Brett Pesci. In net, we got Peter Morazic. James Reiner. Mrazic's had a bit of a rough go, but so is our guy. So, we might be high, seeing a high-scoring series, and healthy scratches are Hayden Flurry, eh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, and Joel Edmondson. Yeah, we could, we could see a very high-scoring series here. Because it looks like offense are both of our team's strong suits. All right. Game one in the Berg. Matt Murray's ready to go. That's what I like to see. Let's bring this one home, fellas. First period. Don't initially start out strong as we give within the first five minutes, we give a goal to Spachinaho. But Brian Dumlin and Brian Rust, the Bryans, team up to get us back on top. Leading the shot clock 13 to 9. Second period. Andre Svechnikov is going to tie up the game. At two apiece, and it is 23 to 19 on the shot clock. All right, third period. We got a tie ball game. Who's going to be the hero for this story? Okay. Oh, yes. Short handed goal, Marcus Patterson. Big, big, big play as we kill off a penalty. Caroline Jared McCann. Once again, another big goal. And that looks like it will give us the ability, Crosby with the empty netter, to cruise to a nice game one victory against the Hurricanes. Good effort. Good effort, boys. Good effort. Now over to game two as Colorado, Buffalo, and Vegas will win their first games. Game two. Can we go up by two? Hold home ice advantage. First period. The reverse of last game, Crosby will lead, lead off the scoring, but Ryan Dezingle and Warren Fogle will put Carolina on top, 15-10 to 10 on the shot clock. Second period, Jordan Stahl is going to make that a 3-1 to one lead. 
27 to 19 on the shot clock. Power play opportunity to start the period, but we blow it. Come on, we need a big we need a big goal right now. We need Crosby Yard. We need that depth to show up. I I don't know where that fourth line has been. We need a big goal from them. We need a big goal from one of those lower lines as the waning minutes. Carolina very disciplined. We've not gotten a lot of power play opportunities with them. I think that is really biting us in the ass. This be all right. And it looks like Carolina will be taking game two. We got an even series. We'll be heading to Carolina as they force a game five. Colorado goes up by two and Toronto and Buffalo and Vegas, Vancouver, even it. What was I saying earlier? Carolina loves going on deep playoff runs. We, we might just be the victim of it here. First period of game three. Patrick Hornquist leads off scoring. Brent Pesci ties it. Ryan Zingle, power play goal, puts us them on top. But Connor Sherry gets it right back. We got a 2-2 ball game. Third period, once again, Jared McCann, power play goal. Stall ties it with one second left. Oh, that hurts. At one second left, Carolina leads off power play. Then we're going to get back. We had a five on three, and we didn't do anything as Vinny Trocek is going to score. We have another power play, and we blow it. Another power play, and we blow it. You want to blow another power play, and we blow it. But Sidney Crosby is going to tie the game as Reimer is. I, oh, yeah. McCann scored on Reimer. I just noticed that. Did Morazic get hurt? Or it, no, he had to have gotten hurt. Shot clock is 40 to 28. We're going into overtime. We need extra time to decide this. Who's going to be the hero of this story as Justin Williams is going to give Carolina a 2 to 1 series lead? Dominate the shot clock. Matt Murray cannot make a big save when we need it. Game four. We need to win this to win back home eyes as Colorado goes up by three against Winnipeg and Vegas gets up two to one. So does Toronto. We need a big game from you, Murray. We really need you to give up two goals or less. This is this is really becoming a pain to us right now. First period leads off. Ryan Dezingle scores one goal on three shots. One goal on three shots. That's ugh. second period. Justin Schultz power play goal. First of the postseason, if I'm correct. And Brian Russ is going to put us up by one as we dominate the shot clock. Can we continue to? Foot on throat. Apply pressure. We need a few goals. I know we're up by one, but I don't trust this Carolina team. We need some more goals. Power play opportunity, and we capitalize. Sidney Crosby puts us up by two. There's the waning minutes. Can we lock this down? Keep applying pressure, but lock it down. And Ashen Reese, with the empty netter. And we've even series. And now we head back to Pittsburgh to hopefully take the lead. Back to Pittsburgh we go. As Malkin goes down. That one is not good. Okay. Here's how I want to do this. Place Bukestad. Go on. Uh, yeah, we're going to replace Bukestad with Marlow. I'll let Bukestad get second line minutes because McCann has been playing really well in the third line. And I would much rather. Have him command that line. Yeah, we'll let Bukes that jump up, jump up on the first power play. 
that we keep that at plus three. That really hurts our attack. Yeah, no, I'm going to give it to McCann. Yeah, I'm going to give it to McCann. This. We are in a bit of a pickle now with Gino going down. Murray's just floating there. Floating just below 900 save percentage, and we will not be seeing Mulkin for the rest of the series. And Okay, maybe game seven, but I don't want to think about that. Game five in, Car in Pittsburgh, not Carolina. That would be game six. Can we take that through to two series lead here? First period. <laughs> oh. <coughs> you okay over there, Reimer? Four straight goals, three on Reimer, in which they yank him and throw in the Delkovich. Sherry, Tana, Patterson within the first five minutes. Crosby adds another second period. Carolina cannot get one back. We start off the period on. A five on three power, but sadly don't connect. But Jared McCann's gonna hack it. Oh God, Patrick Hornquist, Marlow. We are running up the score. This is disrespectful. You think Carolina's really missing Peter Morazic right now? Oh, good God. That is not good. As we also pay the price, as Connor Sherry now goes down. Okay. Uh, I know I could do Simone, but... I'm thinking about calling up Rodriguez. Let's see. You like the carry, shoot, efficient, balance. Okay. How is that? Okay. Carry, shoot, efficient, balance. What is our coach on the second line like? He likes carry, cycle, efficient, balance. Yeah, but then we would have to, uh, you know, just throw in Simone. Uh, how well can you play center, Simone? Seventy. It's it's not ideal. Yeah, we'll just throw in Simone for Sherry and bump up Zucker to that second line, or Marlow, depending on who makes it. Well, I guess Marlow minimizes losses up there. Yeah, now we're running a very, very defensive team. Hopefully works well for us in game six. Well, let's lock this down in Carolina as Toronto finishes off Buffalo. Colorado finishes off um, Winnipeg. And Vancouver is going to go fin on, hopefully finish off Vegas. Game six in Carolina, in Raleigh. Carolina is going to score three off the bat. But momentum will swing the other way like a pendulum as Hornquist and Tang will get them back. As Morazic back in net, they are dying for him right now. Second period, Terror Tiravine is going to get a power play goal to make that a 4-2 to lead. I've seen what our offense can do. Literally last game, power play opportunity, and we connect Jason Zucker. Big goal. We need some players to step up right now with Malkin being gone. We need a bad Malkin and Sherry. They were big pieces to our offense. Can we tie the game up? Three minutes left. Two. One. As Matt Murray gives up a god-awful goal. Less than a minute left to go. Which could have killed our chances, but who knows. 
Another game seven. Oh. Is Malkin ready to go? Is Malkin or Sherry ready to go? Malkin's ready to go. Yep, Yuke's dad's in Malkin's spot. I know this sounds controversial. But Malkin playing at uh 80% is much more valuable to us than a Dominic Sabon playing at 100. It's a bold move, but we got to get bold right now. Got to get a little bold. We got to do something. We got to stop taking penalties. That's what we got to do. Jesus Christ. Murray with a 901 save percentage. We really need you to steal one here, buddy. We saw what you did last game seven. Can you do it again? Game seven in Pittsburgh. First period. Going to go our way again. Brandon Tanev, Sidney Crosby, Justin Schultz. Three goals in a row. Finney Trocek's going to get it back, though, to cut the lead to two. Second period. Jared McCann adds to it as Rymers is now in the net. Looks like we chased Mrazek. Third period hockey left to play. Only 15 minutes left. Carolina power play opportunity, and we kill it off, and Gino makes it a 5 to 1 game. Hornquist makes it 6 to 1. Lock it down, fellas. Lock it down. I, we, I, oh, this team. This team loves adrenaline. That's what I can say. You know what? For how he's played this playoffs, Murray's come in clutch when we needed him to. In both game sevens, we wouldn't be there if he didn't mess up. But in both game sevens, he's been incredible, only giving up one goal. And I don't know how many shots he gave up in the first one, but Murray's playing incredible. And looks like Vegas will come back against Vancouver. So we'll see Vegas and Colorado. And we will be seeing Toronto in the next round. And this is where I think I'm going to cut this. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I bid you adieu.